Oh yeah. Now, now we can finally leave Toronto. He's got his passport. Here. Here, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Told you guys we were losing. Yep. The poll was losing. I twittered it. It went to 80 fucking 20. <laughs> It's a perfect example of how powerful that fucked up thing is. I remember, do you remember Ashton Kushner was on, like, uh, whatever that guy's show is? What's his name? Yeah, uh, Larry King Live. King, and he said, I will Twitter right now and get more response than you can by telling everybody that he should do something. And he Twittered it and destroyed him. No, it was, it was, it was over, over who could get to a million first, Ashton Kushner or CNN. Yeah, and he, he killed him. Yeah. Because he has, like, 8 million followers on Twitter. No. Dude, you, you are just fucking full of incorrect facts. What is it? <laughs> no. Back then when he won the thing, it was the first one to a million. It was the first one to a million. Right now he has like six million. Okay. Right now he has like four and a half or five million. Yeah. You got any other useless, uh, information. incorrect information that you could fucking <laughs> give us today before we get there? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Incorrect, useless information. <laughs> that smells so nice. That's the smell of lavender. It smells nice, I'll tell you. It has to be uh, like just like short. Uh, that's funny. How many times did you do it? Five times? I was trying to be courteous. Yeah. We're going to power everything down? Yes. Yeah. Yep. If you're courteous, you won't wait a fucking three minutes to work off the plane. 70, he's got to go. He's got to go. It's too fishy. <laughs> It's too big and too nasty looking. Brown put some lavender like on it. It could be a fucking four and a half minute flight, Tom. She was in the fucking bathroom. It never fails. It's an after 50 thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah the grip is that going. Well, they got pills for that? <laughs> Not for that. <laughs> they got pills for that. I'm going to put that away. Yeah. They got diapers. <laughs> they got diapers. Yeah. Yeah, go here. Probably because of him. This has never happened to me ever before. Gotta come here, get out of the plane, go through customs. Him. Dude, it never fails. One time we're fucking, I'm not shitting you, this is a true story. We get on the fucking plane, right? We're at the hangar. The fucking two bathrooms and the hangar and everything else. We get on the plane, we take off. The plane's still going this way. Tom gets up, goes back to the bathroom, and blows the fucking plane up, man. We just took off. I can't tell if it's in my fucking nose or if it's all over my fucking clothes. It's got to be on our clothes. We were literally, we were landing. We were fucking 30 seconds away from touching ground. <laughs> At least I got hair. At least I got hair. Wear your hat, you bald fucker. Yeah, put that on your blog, fatty. Opportunity to thank everybody on my farewell voyage on the jet. Exactly. <laughs> Making it so pleasant. Exactly. He only gets to fly on a plane twice a year. Last time he he, he dropped the Tom bomb. We fucking he was he was uh he was banned. Now he just reminded us of why he's not on the plane. Just remember, I'm a protected class. It this should show up on the blog. I, I may have grounds. What the hell did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> so you're rocking the affliction shirts. Yeah. So the other one smelled like lavender. He had to change it. I, I was making sure it didn't for everybody else's benefit. Thank you. I thought there was a picture of Lion King on it. What is it? I would hear it. Simba. This is what you need to keep in mind. He can make me unemployed. You can. Right. I know. I'm just trying to make you unhappy. <laughs>
honestly, I think the fans up here in the East Coast have been uh, extremely uh, forthcoming. Obviously, I've got to thank George as well for uh, you know for, for allowing me this, this opportunity. Um, you know, obviously, when you when you're fighting somebody of his standard, you've got to got to raise your game. So I got myself a nice new suit. <laughs> Please. I called out a war yesterday yeah. and today you're watching your Twitter trying to get tickets. Twitter tickets. So, yeah. all right. All right. All right. All right. so for all the people who can't be there because there were no tickets available, we're doing it here. We're having uh, a viewing party here and uh, Chuck Liddell's going to be here. Matt Sarah's going to be here. The 2009 Fighter of the Year. My one question is, what do I gotta do to hang out with you for one night while you're here? It would be the world's I love you, man. Huh? Let's hook it up. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one's uh, for Dana over here. Cofield from Yahoo. Um, th th we're gonna follow up with Mir in a second. Over here. Ah. Uh. There. There you are. Hey, so why was uh, Frank's comments, or why were Frank's comments about the death in the octagon such a big deal? <laughs> Seriously, and, and tie it to getting licensed in New York. <laughs> Go Next question. Next question. But why, why do you think it's a big deal when we're trying to get sanctioned in Ontario and New York? I'd like you to explain it. Huh? No, I'd like you to explain it. I'm sorry? I'd like you to explain it, but in words, I was a big deal. Next. I'm gonna get a tatted right there. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna get a tatted. Sorry. You'll regret that in about five years. <laughs> right there, I'm gonna get a tatted. This was just some of my early stuff. When we had, you know, obviously it was like a renegade operation at the right. time. And we were trying our best and we treated it as professionally. I was with all the boys. I was with, you know, my roots at the beginning. Even Al Connell, your boy, and all yep. those guys. But we took it, I took it seriously. Back is here, look at this. Look at what he bust out with. This is this is his old. Uh, this is the old chart that shows the uh, the you know chronology of the UFC from the first fight with Hoist Gracie all the way through the big one where we went to the ultimate ultimate '95, which was Severn against Oleg Tektarov. It includes the ones in Casper, Wyoming, where Tektarov and Tank Abbott were big John Matua. So for all you old school fans, man, that have been around for a long time, how cool is that? He just busted this thing out, and I was like, oh man. That's very cool. There you go. We, we, we just got a lesson in the old school from Bruce Beck, man. How cool is that? That's fucking me? Dude, if that's me, I'm going to kill myself. Well, Jim White chocolate bust of me. Whose phone is that? Ariel Hawani. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Show, show, show whose phone it is. Ariel Hawani. It's his phone. Does that look like me? It tastes good, though. He did it. He did a good job. The end of, uh, that was that's fun. the end of the press conference. Just got approval from mom there. She liked it. She was happy with the, uh, with the press conference. You know what time it is now? It's Pinkberry time. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you How's doing? going? All right. All right. You? Good to meet you. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty so good. one of my buddies from the Jersey Shore. Cool, man. Normal Jersey little, Shore. I was just gonna say, really? Yeah. Jersey no, 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 no. Next Le season? Legit Jersey Shore. Like, the are real you, deal. Are you next season? <laughs> I, I hope not. I hope not. I'm not hey, exactly up, camera friendly. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good to see you, man. So, everything well, good? You don't have the situation going on? Are you kidding me? This is a bad situation. Going on. You know, guys get six packs on carrying the beer ball and kegs, you know? This is a bad situation. It's a bad situation. Thank you. 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 Thank you.